What's going on, Legion? Azure here. Like always. Why did I do my... Like, why did I make a face like... I don't know. Anyway, Supergirl coming back. It started out kind of rocky. Wasn't a big fan. But damn, doesn't that Supergirl have some nice legs and a nice ass. Jesus Christ. She just has a great body. It's insane. But besides that, her acting isn't horrible. So the show ended up being okay. It started out being like a superhero sex in the city, which I was not a fan of because... I'm not a really big fan of that kind of stuff. I don't like Sex and the City. I don't really like chick flick type of movies in general. Not because of women and, oh my God, sexism, but because it, I, j I just don't relate to it. It's just that's what it is. It doesn't matter if it's comedy from a different race, a TV show for a different sex. Sometimes I just can't relate to whatever it is I'm watching. doesn't mean it's bad. doesn't mean I don't like it. It just means it's not, I'm not into it. It's not for me. But with that being said... The show got better later on. It got awesome. We got to see little glimpses of Superman here and there, which was kind of bullshit. And then the new Superman came out, and he has shin guards. But we're going to see Superman, and that's going to be kind of weird. Because Supergirl is now on the CW, which is opposite of CBS, because they're on different channels and spectrums. But, <coughs> oh God, excuse me. CBS being where the, the home of uh, Supergirl in the beginning, but not really working out. Now it's on the CW. If you don't know what the CW is, that is where the Flash and Arrow are located. Awesome. And Vampire Diaries, for some weird reason. And Originals. But either way, we are here to check out like a double feature of Trailer Awesomeness. Let's get into it. Check it out. See what it's all about. Let's hope it's good. There's a siren in the background. It sounds like someone's house is burning down. Sucks to suck. <laughs> Let's get into it. I can't wait to see. Control has lost communication with the craft. Superman. It's going to be Superman. Something catastrophic may have occurred. Yeah! What up, bruh? I dreamt of this moment. Two of us teaming up. I pray. We can only hope wherever he is. She's watching this. He's seeing this. Oh. They're both. Alright. <laughs> so... Oh, that was a good episode. That's nice. Let's continue this. Dude, she has like... She is, just has like the nicest legs. It's insane. I've never been a leg guy. But damn. Oh, is this it? Is this what we're doing? Okay. Well, 40 seconds dedicated to special effects. That you will not see in the show. <laughs> wow, that's what that was? I respect that because it's a... I respect that it was on the CW and they did some kind of promotional bullshit like that. That's pretty funny. Uh, yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something kind of important, maybe. Uh, I forgot what her, what stupid city she's in, because it's just some bull city that I don't even remember, really, in any of the actual, like, lore. It's, uh, what is, she's not in Star City. She's in, uh, she's in her new city that they made up for her. Or is there actual, there's probably an actual city. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like, I, like, Star City and all that stuff, it's like, oh my god, am I watching Dragon Ball Z? Do we have an, a lack of imagination? Like, I hate the, the cities. Metropolis and uh, <coughs> Gotham are like the only appropriate named cities ever. Star City and Coast City or whatever the fuck the others are. They're the dumbest names ever. I, I, I hate them. I wish that would be the retcon that somebody would do in this... <coughs> damn. In any of these remakes. I wish they would... Re in the New 52, I wish they would rename the cities to something not retarded. I, I, it really does bug me. I feel like I'm watching Dragon Ball Z with North, West, South, and East City. Uh huh, sure. Other than that, though, it looked like it was that you get to hear people from Metropolis and Supergirl City, and they're both going, uh, I hope he, I hope she sees blah, blah, blah. It's this big, huge thing. And then they both meet up and they're like, hey, saw, dude. Uh, and then they do all that crazy stuff and then they go save the day. Hopefully, we, he's not just this little arc. Maybe we get to see him a few times. I know this is Supergirl, but we've seen Supergirl and Superman stuff. I hope now that we get to see Supergirl with Superman kind of coming and, and being the, you know... Either way, it's it's never been just Superman. It's always been the point of view, right? So we've always had the point of view of Superman. It's never been like, oh, this is Superman's world, blah, 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 and this is just some girl. No, it's always been... 
uh, the point of view of whatever hero. That's how DC kind of does things. So hopefully, well, of course, we're going to see the point of view of Supergirl interacting with Superman. I hope that's kind of how it goes. <clears throat> and, how, and we get to see Superman every now and then, or maybe get to part of it. Or when Superman leaves, we as the audience, we're not going to go follow. We're going to be with Kira, which is going to, or, or whatever. And which is going to be kind of fun. I can't wait to see that. And uh, the the whole Sex in the City kind of dramatic bullshit kind of washed away. And we got now, it does have some very like girly, let's sit and eat ice cream moments. Because it actually had them sitting down and eating ice cream, her and her sister. But I'm not, I'm not really like opposed to like drama type stuff. I don't mind that whole high school dramatic, like I don't like high school situations because it's just, I hated high school. But like... Like they say, you never grow up from high school, right? High school, you never leave high school. People act like that in life. Uh, look at some of the bullshit you see on YouTube and how the arguments. It's high school. The drama factor doesn't bother me, especially in the later part of the show. It was, it didn't really bother me that much. I didn't mind seeing the whole her having an issue with guy problem. I thought that was kind of fun to watch. It was something that was more than just superhero, and it works in a it works in a weird way because of how they're doing the show. Where this is her figuring herself out. So I, I understand that Clark, he's always been like, I have a double life. I have to do it this way and I have to do it that way, and it's very just kind of boring, cut and dry. Kira's like, there's emotions to this. Uh, love from a female perspective it's a whole different story i can get on board with it along with whatever else they add on as long as it's just not sex in the city level because that was that wasn't even like that was like in some realities that's not even real life you go to hollywood and that's like everybody's life so that kind of level i don't want to see because it we definitely saw it in the very beginning with like typical woman meltdowny issue bullshit that somebody wrote to give her this huge like female problem and then they kind of went and go no this is just a normal problem with you know the fact that she's a woman they kind of balanced it out there's another siren going on can you guys hear that shit oh my god i guess it's telling me i'm going on too long all right either way i can't wait for the show i think the the drama i think the action i think it's all pretty much balancing out pretty well and i can't wait to see if there's any more crossovers but that being said i'm gonna get out of here, guys thanks for watching thanks for hanging out if you like the content you like that's what i do here you can like subscribe or share remember it's completely up to you i do appreciate it, though it does help me out in some way or another <clears throat> my voice won't stop getting gravelly <clears throat> if you want to uh link me something new you want to talk about anything i've discussed in this video or on this channel you can leave a comment down below. Love to see you here. All the comments. Once again, my name is Azure. I'll see you in whatever video I'm doing next. Later, guys.